Welcome back to the next Organo Metallics video. In this one, we're going to be talking about the Stilly reaction. Now, this one is similar to one you guys have seen before with the Organo Cuprates, and we can make these single bonds, and they can do some weird stuff when it comes to these acyl chlorides you guys have seen when we did electrophilic aromatic substitution. All right, so let's get started. We're going to first just cover the general framework for the Stilly reaction, and then we'll do some examples. So, always these reactions use some sort of R group and we're going to have to get a metal. In this case, we're going to use tin, SN, right? That's the you know, way we write tin, and it's going to be bound to this group. All right, the R group, this can be a vinyl, aryl, tri or tetra, alkyl compounds, and I'll show you what I mean by that. And we're going to react it with, again, some sort of other R group, now to a halogen. And we're going to react it with PDL4. Now the green R group, this one is going to be an alkenyl. vinyl or aryl halide or triflate forgot to mention that one pretty much any halide will work all right and again it's going to bind the red and the green r groups and it's going to give us this side product the halogen is going to be bound to our tin which still has these NBU groups. All right, and now the key thing is stereochem is retained for both of the original, re uh, for the product in terms of both of the original reagents. So if you had one R group that was trans, the other was cis, you're going to get the product is going to have both trans and cis, all right? So the serochem is retained just like it is in the Suzuki reaction. So how do we make these, you know, how do we do this reaction? The first thing is we have to make these tin compounds, all right? This um, R group bound to tin with the three NBU groups. So what we're going to do is we're going to use Lithium. All right. So I have this lithium on a benzene, and we reacted with Cl, Sn, and Bu3. And all that does is you replace the chlorine with that benzene. Okay, we can also do it with some sort of vinyl compound. So we have this now. And we can even just use regular alkyl chains. Oh, sorry. The only difference is instead of reacting with chlorine and NBU3, you're going to just react it with tin CL4, and what you're actually going to get is this compound. So four of these with organolithium compounds bind to tin. Kind of similar to how the organocuprate ended up using two of our react, uh, reagents. So we get this compound. So if you see me numbering the carbons, one, two, three, carbons overall, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, three compound, three carbons overall. Now, once I have my uh, tin compound, so let's say I'm doing this again.
so I have this compound. Now I want to, you know, got to react it with something else to form my product. So let's say I react it with this benzene, octal bromine, PDO4. All it does is you take one of the alkyl groups, let's say the, the top right, number it, and you connect them to the carbon of that halogen. In this case, it's going to be this carbon. So I got to get three carbons onto that purple carbon. It's really bad. So here's my purple carbon and three carbons. One, two, three. My number, one, two, three. And that would have been the product of the Stille reaction, okay? So not too bad. Usually the annoying part about these reactions is just making the original reactant. Now, one thing to watch out for is this can also work with acyl chlorides. So let's say I already have my compound made. So that's this compound right up here, the synthesis. So I have this compound ready, right? Now I'm going to react it with an acyl chloride. If you forgot what that looks like, it's this compound, a carbonyl carbon that has a chlorine attached to it. And we, of course, we use our PDL4. Now all I'm going to do is I'm going to connect this carbon, the number, the carbon with that's going to the tin, to the carbon of the carbonyl, and kind of replace the chlorine. So the chlorine should be gone. All right, so let me number this, four, five. So I have this compound now. If I number it, one, two, three, four, five. Carbon four had a carbonyl. Carbons two and three had a double bond. And so we can get this product, all right? So this could be super useful in synthesis. Maybe you should have an example like this on your index card in case um, you're worried you're going to forget it. All right. But essentially, the Stille reaction is really good for when you have um, just regular carbon chains because I can form these single bonds. All right. Like you saw here with this benzene and that carbon chain, we were able to form this right here. And so that's really it for the Stille reaction. Again, a lot of these reactions, like the Stille, Suzuki, and heck, um, the really annoying thing is just to make the reagents themselves, but if you have this general roadmap in your head, right, um, it should hopefully not be too bad. So definitely put like maybe um, some examples in your index card if you think you'll forget, but um, remember always to just keep practicing. And if you're a little bit stuck, please feel free to email me or go to the CLC, all right? See you guys in the next video.